Hi there, how is it going? This is Zidin here from RecCommedia.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to rename multiple files in Windows without software, just in few clicks. Welcome back. Are you tired of having a cluttered folder full of files with randomized numbers and dates as file names? Do you wish there was an easier way to organize and differentiate between your files? Look no further because bulk renaming in Windows is here to save the day. So how does it work? Let's walk through the process step by step. Here we will be taking the example of this folder in which we have our favorite tracks or our favorite album files. We may also have photos, images or any other files. So it's the same process. Good. So as you can see here, we don't have any information regarding the file that you will listen to or the photo or the PDF file and we have just numbers and the same name which is not that helpful what you want is just to to give them a relevant name one which will be helpful whether you are searching for it or you want to listen to the specific one right first of all let's switch to details Good. Next, you should select all the files by hitting Ctrl plus A, or you can just add the tick box in here. Good. You select all the tracks. Next, we select one of them and hit Rename. Wait a few seconds. Rename or F2. It is better to hit right click and select the track you want to start with. In our example here, we'll be starting with the first one. If you cannot see the extensions, we'll show you later how to make it appear too. Great. Here you want to change all this relevant name and just make it high. That's the album, for example. Kai. And do not add number. We'll show you later why, because the number will be added automatically after that you just hit enter and voila all your tracks have been renamed just with one click you still can edit it so just select the first one as it is we did first next you you can add prefix or add suffixes for example we say new album then just move track to the number to make it more relevant great and that's it you hit enter and voila all your files have been renamed into the specific numbers now we move on to the next uh, problem which is sometimes you are facing for example you want to rename the first four with a different name and the other ones with a, another different name album number one or uh, album number two to do so we just need to activate another option head down to sort from in here next you select group from group we select for example by name here they will be listed under the same group because they have almost the same name but select the tracks you want to change for example these ones are from a different album so we need to make them into different names select rename the same process for example that's instrumental album next you just uh, change the track the track number one and hit enter and voila as you can see here we have two groups group the first album and the second album as you have noticed the numbering system is added automatically but you can change it as you want just by typing the first number you want and the system will continue the sequence 
Now we have a folder full of organized tracks with specific details and file names. This method is especially helpful for organizing professional photo shoots, documenting important events, file storage sharing, or any user who creates a lot of files and did not find the time to organize them instantly. That will save you a lot of time. But if you make a mistake or you want or want to go back to the original file name, don't worry, Windows has got you covered. You can easily undo the renaming process by pressing Ctrl plus Z or using the undo rename button within here. And uh, just what will happen to our tracks? We are back into one group. You can rename again and you will get back your albums. So next time you have a folder full of files that need organizing, remember this handy trick can say goodbye to chaos and confusion and more helpful tech tips. If you want to change a specific, if you want to remove certain prefixes or suffixes or any letter or symbols from your individual files, then stay tuned for our next tutorial in which we'll be showing you how to get full control of renaming individual files in bulk. For more helpful tech tips, be sure to subscribe to Recomedia and stay ahead in the digital world. Till then, this is your host, Azadine. Peace.